y'all. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this video, I am showing you life at camp now that we are back up in northern Arizona. It is gorgeous weather this next week, so I've been taking my time setting up camp, but uh, in the meantime, we found a dead elk carcass that I'll be showing in this video. I caught up with one of my friends, Don, who I see at least once a year. He's actually camped near us, so that was really fun. And I am showing you footage of Maddie and I playing my new lawn darts game that I got. So lots of good things happening around camp right now, and I hope that you enjoy. So remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the fun. I'm getting the van all set up for tonight. I just lit a candle, kiddos outside. I put his playpen in front of the ramp where I can see it when I'm in the van and getting ready for the evening because that's where he likes to be. I've been hearing some thunder. As you can see, it looks like there's some rain clouds. We aren't expecting rain, but just in, in case, I did just put out the bare minimum tonight for camp. So if things get rained on outside, it is no big deal, but it's about 66 right now and gloomy and I'm loving it. Cozy, cozy. All set for tonight. I have my new sink that I'm using. I uploaded a video about it the other day. Highly recommend. Very excited about it. This $2.50 for the whole thing. So check out my video from the other day. Other than that, I just have Winston's playpen, my chair, and my little table out. My lawn darts. I'm excited to play lawn darts with Maddie at some point. But, oh my gosh. Ugh, the weather is so perfect right now. I'm letting Winston explore a little bit more. Because we still have some daylight. The sun is setting earlier and earlier as we approach summer, so I hung up my curtain tonight to separate my the front of my van from the rest of my van. As you can see, there is light coming in, and that light really comes in in the morning, but this really helps. This is literally two yards of fabric. I clipped it with binder clips shoved the binder clips in the sides there and voila that's it i have a curtain so it helps to keep the light out in the morning and it makes it much darker in here oh there's my swiffer so i won't uh, be woken up by the sun quite as early it's a maddie in the wild tinkering Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous morning. I've already had two cups of coffee, have my trash to take out. We are about to start our day, y'all. Get my shoes on here. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's perfect out right now. Oh, I really need to stretch, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's about 9 o'clock. I think it's 60 degrees out. Time to get the day started. <laughs> Are you silly? <laughs> You're so funny. What is that? Are you just playing because you're silly? So here's what <laughs> here's what's been going on this morning. My campsite is an absolute disaster, but I put out my rug. I put it over here because right by my van, it's kind of rocky and there's those big holes. There is a reason I parked there because it's like super level and 
the shade and the sun, whatever. So I put my rug over here so Winston can have a space to play. Maddie and I were playing our lawn darts game this morning, which is fun. And then my friend Don came over, and turns out these holes <laughs> are from Don. Uh, he is in a 42-foot Allegro Class A, and he parked over here originally before we arrived, tried to put his levelers down, and he sunk <laughs> and created those holes. Um, but anyways, it's been a year since I've seen him, so it was fun to catch up. And right now I am making bacon and eggs for breakfast. Maddie is going to put up my awning in a little bit, and it is a magnificent day. Just a slight breeze, so we are going to enjoy our breakfast. Um, and then I will work on like getting cleaned up and stuff. I took out all the stuff I need for my awning. And I already made my bed this morning. Winston and I were up pretty early. We were up around, well, I was up around 6.30. He went potty, ate breakfast, and then went back to sleep. But it's already been a productive, awesome day. Here's a time-lapse clip of Maddie and I playing my lawn darts game. So, of course, the OG lawn darts have, like, the spikes on the end that could literally, like, stab somebody but I found these cheaper safer lawn darts at Target I think the game was like 10 or 15 dollars it comes with four darts and then two targets and a caddy so Maddie and I were just having fun experimenting with how to throw them again because they are weighted at the end they don't have spikes and there I am doing my little celebratory dance but <laughs> it's we had a lot of fun doing it it's actually quite a blast I wanted to like cornhole's too big and we like to play games and you know find stuff to do at camp so this is perfect because I can fit it in my rooftop box and turns out it's something that we really enjoyed for quite a while today a nice compact game definitely kid friendly but these pieces these darts are pretty heavy because they are weighted but it's a lot of fun I just made sure that Winston kind of kept his distance because one of these things could probably knock him out I think Maddie was targeting me right there hmm. <laughs> not bad for a little target game huh So we're going on a walk here, found something kind of crazy. An elk carcass, very fresh elk carcass. Hasn't been there long, that's for sure. Very icky. I have a little bit more cleanup to do, but Maddie put up my awning, I got my dishes done, put, a, put up a bug screen on my trunk space. Um, kind of counter, counterintuitive right now because I don't have my other one up, but I did get them out. Winston's playpen is currently on them and he is relaxing. I put my solar out a little bit ago, so my Jackery is probably full. And I will put away my tool bag later, like I said, do a few other things. But it's about 1 p.m. and we are just relaxing with these beautiful views. Oh, hey, kid. Even though I got a full night's sleep last night and I slept really well, I felt kind of sleepy today. I think it's because the, well, first of all, the weather is perfection, <laughs> you know, 71 and partly cloudy. Um, 
but also I feel like my brain and my soul is just like decompressing from, you know, being at my home base from the last 10 days. I was so busy and I got so much done and I was just going a thousand miles per hour every single day I was at my home base. So now that I'm here and I'm slowing down, you know, mentally and physically, I just feel like so relaxed, you know? It's not, it's not bad. It's a good thing, right? It's a good thing. Um, even though I'm a, the type of person who has a lot of energy and I'm constantly, you know, moving around and doing stuff, uh, it's just a lot more stressful being in the city and having to uh, take care of all of that, you know, adult stuff and those responsibilities. But since I did get so much done these next couple of weeks, I can do just this. And, you know, enjoy the simple, peaceful life with my friends, play some games, take walks, just do the good old van life stuff that I like to do with my kiddo. So thank you for tuning in to this Life at Camp episode. I will go live again soon for my part two of my q and I was just so busy at the house. Um, so I will do that here in the forest, but I will let you know when. Thank you so much for being here. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.